what's going on it's true uh just another video and y'all know what it, what's going on uh really just a video with a question question of uh who got off shit who's the next in line like who really runs pre again i mean we constantly hearing this last name m-o-o-r-e more shit big daddy name more to him time out he the one put off on the game lost the weed and shit you know what i'm saying so the connect he got the connect he had to connect when he met Dolph. he also became Dolph's business partner we're talking about daddy yeah big daddy you know what i'm saying so where is he at and what, what part of the game is he playing i mean as i did my research it seemed like everything being transferred in his name you know what I'm saying? Like, he got the power, but then he stayed low-key. So, if he got the power, and we ain't hearing from Dolph family and shit, which is highly suspect, because all it is is highly suspect, but what family gonna have a king like Dolph get assassinated and not be all on the news and shit? You know what I'm saying? They, they, they mighty quiet. But then, we gotta realize the Dolph family ain't really give a damn about you know what I mean look at his mama and his daddy you know what I'm saying look at look at how he had to grow up so they ain't sincere enough to care like that but then as they get paid off just like the Makita's employees and shit talking about they got life now I'm talking about these folks ain't never got to go back to work they got paid to shut the fuck up you know what I'm saying like from two new employees everybody that was in that cookie shop on that day uh played a part and uh that go find me and shit. Man, that was just to keep these folks with free money. I mean, realize these folks from the hood. You know what I mean? If they ain't gotta go to work, that just is like a government check to these folks. So, there's a little more than that, because intimidation, the fear of getting killed, if you say something. So where are they? This shit ain't never going to trial. From what I'm gathering up and with this tag and all this shit, which we still working on, these folks are smart as hell with this tag because everything it traced back to as of now is coming up i mean i got a few names i got a couple names but then it take a little bit more than that to get to why but then i know y'all want to know true uh how did you get a phone call uh when when when, when pre i don't even know what happened man this shit is a joint effort it's about pre don't know what happened how i get a phone call the same motherfucking way I got a phone call. I told y'all where straight drop was uh, when his money got missing out the goddamn hotel room in Dallas, Texas. That's what made him broke. Once once that money got taken, <laughs> his ass was on his own, and he became a liability. So well, he wasn't running from the police. He was running from the streets. You know what I'm saying? Straight dropping, straight dropping, just a pawn with information. Like these folks, it's looking like these folks was meant to be the fall guys. You know what I'm saying? So as long as they say quiet, every phone call they make in jail and all that shit, they can't really talk. But in jail, you gotta send out kites, third party, so you use somebody else uh, pin number and shit to, to have a, a phone call. Or you do it through your lawyer. If you got a paid attorney like uh, like uh, Carnies, man, information goes like that. It don't take much to buy no attorney. But I'm just saying, uh, daddy-o, it's silent too, but he running shit. Uh, Mia J, she wasn't Dolph's wife. She just had two kids. Dolph was doing, I mean, Dolph was, of course he was fucking with other bros. She knew that, but they call her his lifelong partner. And uh, all this shit is highly suspect. Anyway, don't nobody care. Did anybody in his family camp? I mean, Key got over her. Well, he ain't got the power, but then they, they taking Dolph uh, independence. You know what I'm saying? He was strong on that independent tip, trying to teach young niggas the game. I guess young niggas ain't get it. But somebody had some other plans. And uh, <laughs> when he gone, somebody got to take control of the reign. So who the fuck is running PRE, Paper Route Empire? Daddy, yo. And family of Dolph, mama and daddy, uh, everybody that's benefiting. Y'all enjoy y'all money. Because just like I got this information for about the tag, a conscience is a bad thing. I know y'all 
Like I was saying, y'all, y'all want to know who it is. But I'm telling y'all, y'all better pay attention to how I work. Working the subliminals, it's just me out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what's up, so keep paying attention. I mean, this is now's the time to play clo pay close attention to every video I drop because this is the code. This is how I, this is how I gotta talk and show y'all. So if y'all just look and listen, y'all y'all see what I'm trying to say, and just to keep going. Ain't no sense of me uh, getting killed and when I started out for justice. And ain't nobody gonna pick it up. You gotta fight through these narrative changes and shit. All this shit surrounding Dolph. This shit ain't Mo3 was big as hell. We ain't getting none of this shit on Mo3. I mean, they came in and did their little narrative change shit. And then they let Mo3 fall on the wayside. Even when I was going down there in Dallas with my contacts and all that, that wasn't enough. It's a system, baby. And that protection, it's election time, people. All this shit is it's election time. And these are crooked states. So I just came in to say that. I pay attention, I'll be back.